Hey there, this is James Darknell from the Foundry with a Moto 10 series quick clip. In this video, I'm going to be showing you our new games tool layout that we've added to Moto 10. So when you open up Moto, the games tool layout can be found in the layout switcher here across, or is what I like to use, the, uh, the layout switcher found under the control tab key. So you just click on the game tools uh, to go into that viewport. And by default, this should be what it looks like. So there's a lot of different tasks that game artists uh, are usually doing. Uh, so we haven't lost any of the focused ones like modeling, UV editing, that sort of stuff. But sometimes you just want to pop in and get a different tool. So we've created all of these little toggles here across the bottom. And these are just going to sort of toggle windows on and off uh, as they are needed. So you can see here that by default we have the, the timeline here. We have our uh, schematic workspace. We have a little 3D viewport here. Uh, that I have set to the new advanced viewport. Uh, and then we also have a, a preview here or a progressive render window. Uh, and that is set to baking. So you can now do progressive render baking much more easily. But anyways, let me give you a little quick rundown of these toggling buttons down here. So we have the, for the various toolbox, you're going to get a modeling tools, which is going to duplicate the toolbox of the model toolbox or the model layout. Uh, the sculpting tools and painting tools, which has uh, all of the different tools of our paint layout. And then our scene layout tools. Uh, and then lastly, the most used are likely going to be these game tools, and that's what it's going to default to, uh, where you're going to get your exporting options, and now you have the ability to have various presets saved for your exporting. Uh, and then there's baking, which now includes the new baking wizard, uh, which is really handy and makes baking a lot easier. Uh, and then we have our vertex map toolkit where you can change your uh, vertex normals on objects. Uh, you also have the layouts, which basically just opens up your layout switcher here. Uh, we can toggle off the timeline toggle the schematic view and we can also toggle that preview window there and then over here we just have our items and shading that you can toggle on and off if you want to get to maximize your 3d viewport uh, and that's great for using this new game navigation mode so if you prefer doing a game navigation you can see that sort of pops up right below your window uh, and it lets you use the keyboard and your mouse to sort of steer around as you would in a game level. So if you have an entire game level, this allows you to sort of navigate through the game level using traditional game play shortcuts. So I'm gonna hit escape to drop out of the game navigation mode. And then we just have the other standard options here across the top, uh, your selection modes, your setup mode, action centers, fall offs, what have you. So really, this is a really flexible layout that, that gives you access to a lot of tools uh, in a compact form uh, that makes them easily accessible for when you're setting up your game assets. So that is the new game tools layout available in Moto 10.